Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, if you're new, welcome, welcome. Um, today, actually I haven't got a lot to say about today's nails. I'm going to be using a set of decals from Nail Sugar, which I haven't used yet on, on in, a, in a video. Um, they are the B decals, they're super cute. You can save 10% off any Nail Sugar decals using my code NATWORK10. Um, but anyway, all the, all the links and everything are always down in the description box for you anyway. So without further ado, let's just crack on. Okie dokie, artichokey. Right, <laughs> we've got our tips. We've got, these are the B decals that I've been talking about. They're super cute. We're gonna be using these today. Oh, I love them. And then I'm only going to be using two colours from Madame Glam. I've got Lightborn, which is one of the new ones, and Rosy Nude, which is probably one of my favourites. Um, I'm also going to be using this Chickadee Confetti from Nail Sugar. In the light, they almost go pastel-y colours. Oh, honestly, it's really nice. There's, oh, I love that so much. I love it. And the yellow gel paint. We're going to be using that as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is one of the nails I want to be a French nail. So I'm going to apply two coats of Rosy Nude to the nail and cure each coat for 30 seconds. The other three nails I am going to apply two coats of lightborn too now do be aware that lightborn is very pigmented so you only need a very thin coat my second coat of one of the nails was a little bit too thick and you'll see what happens in a minute <laughs> um this nail i am going to do a french so i've just sort of done the sort of basics with the brush in the bottle then i'm just going to use my detailer brush just to neaten up that the actual smile line itself and once i'm happy with how it looks i'll pop it in the lamp for a cure you might need two coats you might not this is the chickadee glitter or confetti it's really nice right before i apply that i'm going to apply that to this nail but i'm just going to wipe off the tacky layer and you're gonna need a bit of base coat. So pop a bit of base coat on a palette. This is, look, oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I didn't show you it in the light, how annoying. Right, you only need the tiniest bit of base coat on the nail. I'll tell you for why, because we're gonna put these bits of glitter on in a honeycomb shape. If you put too much base coat on, they're just gonna move around. Like, you literally want the, the tiniest bit. That's why I apply it with the brush because the the brush not the brush in the bottle because you you like you literally want but right, yeah basically if you put too much on they're going to move around and you don't want that to happen and can you see as i'm doing this the nail here is starting to wrinkle on the right hand side i don't know if you can see it yet because the box is in the way but it starts to wrinkle and look it's wrinkled now by the time i finish this but i was going to redo the nail but because no one's actually going to wear these i just thought sod it i'll just keep it wrinkled because I make the mistakes so you don't have to <laughs> right I'm cutting out what decals I want on one of the nails I'm gonna have uh oh well I'll show you anyway as we go along um but I put my decal upside down on my stamper I will dampen the back with water and then I've sped this up times two that the back just slides off after a few seconds it's brilliant and then I'm just gonna stamp that because this is a black decal I don't have to color in the back and it just look just stamps it on then I'm gonna do a I was gonna say a butterfly it's a B this one I could stamp straight on I'll just show you look I could stamp that straight on and it wouldn't look too bad however I I thought I'd colour the back in with white gel polish anyway. You, if you do do this, you need to cure the gel polish. Look, it just looks so much more vivid. And the wings show up a lot better. Um, you do need to cure the gel polish before you stamp it. A couple of people have asked. Um, yeah, give it a cure before you stamp it. Um, and then I, look, I use this little bee, like the little bee trail. I don't want to call that. Um, but that's going to be our decal now. I am going to use one more decal. Um, I'm going to use this honeycomb decal here, the black on um, the black and cl the clear. This one, All right, I'm going to stamp this on, and then what I thought I would do was, all oh, right, I'm going to top coat them first. Hang on, right, I'm going to use velvet matte top coat. I'm so sorry, but I just love it. I can't help it. I will do some shiny nails. 
soon because I don't want to get to the point where everyone's like, does she only do shiny? No, does she only do velvet matte? And the answer is pretty much yes, but I'm trying to do something for everyone. <laughs> I just forget sometimes. Uh, so yeah, so top coat all of the nails. I only showed you me doing three there, but we do do all of them. Then using the white gel paint, I'm going to draw on some hexagonal hexagons. Hexagons? Yeah, six-sided, yeah, hexagons. And I'm going to put them on the nail going like down in a... They're gonna go, it's gonna go from like the top right down to the bottom left over the top of the, the little black hexagons honeycomb shape that we put on already. Um, this was a bit fiddly and I did actually have to wipe this off twice before I finally cracked it because it kept going wonky. So yeah, it was a bit, it was a bit of a pain. I was, I thought, shall I cover the whole nail, like the whole bottom part of the nail? like the whole yellow bit in honey in this big honeycomb shape design and then I thought no because I'm just gonna it's just gonna go wrong I thought cut your losses so I left it like that you can cure it like that and it will go shiny because the gel paints don't have a tacky layer so you don't need to top coat them afterwards however I decided because this is like a matte set I sprinkled it with acrylic so that it ends up looking matte so there's a whole lot of matte going on on this nail nails on these nails not this nail but I suppose this nail as well yeah anyway right pop that in the lamp to cure and then when it comes out you just dust off the excess acrylic powder and oh yeah I decided as well I was like you didn't do the smile line so I'm just gonna go around the smile line and I'm gonna sugar that as well with um, acrylic powder but I'm just going to skip forward because it's the same process as before brush off the excess and Bob's your uncle fun as your aunt there you go. And then we just need to do something on uh, this snail on the right. But I have some little bee charms that I got from, I think they were from Shein. We're going to use one of these today with, oops, <laughs> with some crystals from Crystal Parade. So these are Preciosa crystals. I've got neon yellow. I've got citrine and jonquil. And I'm also using my Rachel Wilder's Crystal Fix and my Crystal Kitana to adhere them. Um, if you're going to put this on a real person, you will need a lot more gem glue than that. I just use a little bit because I don't want to waste it. And these are not actually press-ons that someone's going to wear. So, yeah, that would probably need a lot more gem glue than that for the bee. And then I'm just going just gonna to cover the bee in, like some like random just a random crystal design and then like that's what it looks like after i've finished because i skipped forward because the editing was doing my head in <laughs> sorry this is the close-up i hope you like them if you did please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing it's completely free you can always change your mind though I'd rather you didn't <laughs> websites and discount codes below don't forget to put this gel polish on thinly or it will wrinkle but love you lots god bless and I will see you in the next one. Love you, bye.